All right, guys, I am super excited because we are doing the first unboxing for 2024. And not only is it a very special unboxing, this is quite literally a bag that I've wanted for about 15 years. But before we get into all that, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing to the channel, check out my membership. We have awesome rates, a really engaged community. And I kind of gave the community a sneak peek over on the Discord earlier this week when this bag finally came in. It's a bag that I've wanted for a very, very long time. It's very similar to the Birkin, I think, and that's kind of the reason why I didn't allow myself to get it before I had the Birkin already in my collection. Now, if you've already guessed it, yes, I'm going to be sharing a Ralph Lauren Ricky today, which is 100% a vibe. I am so freaking excited. But this was not an easy process, you guys. Now, the burning desire for this bag really kind of fueled itself late last year. It started kind of in October, September, really, after I got my Burke, and I was like, oh, now I need the Ricky, right? Because you've, you've got to have both to kind of compare, contrast, and they're both beautiful and iconic bags from their houses. And then the members meet up. We met Saturday morning at the Ralph Lauren store, Ralph Cafe. We had our coffee and our croissants first, and then we headed upstairs to look at handbags, clothing, and, and housewares, and everything, and everything beautifully Ralph Lauren. And I tried on a Ricky for the first time, and I loved it, you guys. Now, it was a soft Ricky, which we're going to kind of unpack, like, what's a soft Ricky, what's a classic Ricky here in a little bit, but I was hooked. Like, it is such a gorgeous, very classic bag, and it, it reminded me, for those of you who watched Downton Abbey on PBS, all the Ralph Lauren commercials, and they would always show the Ricky or show the upcoming collections, and it's such a vibe, such an iconic bag. I had to have it. And I spent months looking for it. It was really important for me to find a brown one because in my mind, I had it in my head that I didn't have very many brown bags. That's enough. <laughs> Preferably with purple lining because I love purple label. Ralph Lauren, hello, it's a vibe. I was kind of open to the classic version, even though it has a lot more hardware, more chances to scratch, and a heck of a lot heavier. But I was also kind of open to the Soft Ricky because I knew with the Soft Ricky, I had a better chance of getting that beautiful purple leather lined interior, less hardware to kind of worry about, and as I'm, as I'm getting a little bit older, I'm in my mid-30s now, I kind of am starting to prefer lighter bags, if you will, like why I bought a Kelly and a Birkin, and now I'm like, I like light bags. It's something to unpack for an entirely other day. However, I was, I was very open to the soft or the classic Ricky, and I searched and searched and searched to no avail for months. So I have to say a quick thank you to Jamie and Quirky for both putting up with my rambling and constantly talking about the Ricky. Thank you to Birkin Boy for sending me several Ricky options, both on eBay, the Real Real Vestier, all over he was looking for. But I have to say a huge thank you to Autumn Beckman for finding my Ralph Lauren Ricky. Autumn and Winnie and I were texting. And again, thank you both for listening to me talk about this stupid bag for so long. But Autumn Beckman was like, well, here, what about this one? And it literally checked all of the boxes, also on the Real Real, but it was in like the members only section. And apparently, I still don't understand how it works, even though I joined just to get this particular bag. But I guess if you pay $12 a month, you have like extra first access to new bags before they drop for the regular public. I really don't understand it. So I joined it for a month and then like canceled my membership. And then this arrived last weekend and I am so freaking excited. So I've talked about it enough. Let's dive in and I'll show you which Ricky I got. All right, without further chatter, let's just get into this thing. This is the Ralph Lauren Soft Ricky 33 in the color RL Gold. This is kind of Ralph Lauren's answer to Hermes Gold. They're very similar, but I would consider this shade a little bit warmer than Hermes Gold. And this one has the gorgeous classic Palladium hardware. So even though this was from Autumn Winter 2014, this didn't make the cut for the runway. The runway was very pastel-y, very kind of gray, feathers, things like that, very refined. So it makes sense that this was part of the collection, but I could also see why it didn't quite make the cut. And I think RL Gold is kind of a common thread as far as the Ricky goes. It shows up a lot across a lot of different years. Now, the nice thing with the Ralph Lauren Ricky, the interior does have a tag inside the pocket that literally tells you like what season and year it's from. I wish more houses did that. Like stop with your stupid numbers and, and codes. Like just say, Autumn Winter 2014, like it is that, it's that simple. Now with the Ralph Lauren Soft Ricky, you do have the option of attaching a shoulder strap to it. It just goes behind the, the handles here on the little D-rings. In my opinion, it's kind of like putting a strap on a Birkin. It just looks cumbersome. 
I probably won't wear it with the strap. I might take it with me if we grocery shop and I just need to like throw it over my shoulder when we're walking in or, you know, heaven forbid you're at a tiny restaurant in the city and you need to like hang it from the back of your chair. That does happen occasionally. So it's nice to have a strap, but I don't really plan to wear it with this. Now, the Ralph Lauren Ricky, a little bit of history about it. This is the house's most iconic bag. Now, when you think of Ralph Lauren, you think of classic preppy American style, New England, Southwest, but you don't necessarily think of luxury handbags. Now, this handbag, the Ricky, is named after his gorgeous wife, Ricky Lauren. Now, each Ralph Lauren Ricky is handcrafted by Italian artisans. Now, the soft Ricky takes about eight hours, the regular Ricky takes about 12 hours, and both are made from 50 individual pieces of calfskin that are all hand sewn together. Back in 2014, this retailed for 2,500. Now, fast forward to 2024, the same Soft Ricky 33 would fetch 3,500 new. Now, this bag was inspired originally by a 19th century English saddlebag called the Cooper. And this blends so many classic elements from that bag. You have like this figure eight lock here at the front. You have the straps, which are 100% a pain to get in and out of, I'm not gonna lie. Overall, like it is a stunning bag and I could see why he chose something like this to carry the, the nameplate of his wife because we all know that Ricky has very classic. She has a love for men's tailoring and outdoor sports. So a bag like this completely makes sense for her, 100%. Now, like I was saying, there are two different levels to the Ralph Lauren Ricky. You have the soft Ricky, which I have here, and then you have the classic Ricky. Hey, <laughs> now with the soft Ricky, it is very lightweight. It is, it is one of my lightest bags, quite frankly, and I'm super excited that I have a lightweight top handle bag in my collection because this is this is amazing, you guys. It's gonna be beautiful this fall. I cannot wait for all the Instagram moments with it. The original Ricky has a ton of hardware. Not only is it made from two to three layers of calfskin that are all hand stitched, it has nine pieces of hardware throughout. Like this is a very, kind of a watered down version, if you will. Now, it is a nice feeling leather, it really is. However, the straps, I'm, I'm a little concerned that they're not stitched on the sides. Like on my Birkin, my singles are stitched down the sides. These are just kind of like glued together, I feel. And I also hate that there's no stitching here around the flap. Now I know with later iterations of the Soft Ricky, they, they did introduce that stitching back in, but it's something to consider. Like I don't know how this is gonna wear 10, 15 years from now. Now, as you can tell, I did order this from The Real Real. Overall, it was an okay experience. The shipping was horrendous. They literally just threw this in a box stuffed to the gills with uh, like air paper, the, the, butt, the belts weren't even done up, and then they folded the handles down, which I, I had a minor panic attack. But as you can tell, they, they popped right back up, which is great. Now, the Ricky can be worn in two different ways. You could either wear it how I've shown it with it all belted up, or you can wear it open kind of like the Birkin in a very casual way. I and mean, I kind of like both. You could also do like kind of a mix in between where you have like the flap over the front, and the, the, the side gusset sticking out. So there are several different ways that you can carry this bag and it does kind of give it some different character. You can even tuck the gussets in if you don't need so much space. So it is a very versatile bag. We love a verse queen around here. The interior though, like I was saying, it's just like a really, it, it's, it's a beautiful shade of purple. So that is the first addition to my handbag collection for 2024. I know I shared with you guys in my wish list last week that I'm not really looking to add a whole lot this year. I don't know, I'm just kind of at a point in my collection where, where I'm feeling kind of content. I'll probably eat my words in a month or two when I buy something else, but for now, I'm not actively looking. But anyway, I'm super excited to add this to my apparently not so small collection of brown bags. Thank you guys for joining me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.